You're listening to Insight on Capital Public Radio. I'm Beth Ruyak. If origami is the art of intricately, beautifully folded paper, then you can imagine what tapeagami might be, right? Artful sculptures of tape. You might have seen them at Old Soul Coffee House or the California Museum. Thursday, Exhibit S opens in the downtown Sacramento Plaza. The two guys behind the project are with me in studio, Danny Scheibel and Trey Borden. Hello. 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 Good morning, Welcome Beth. to Insight. Thank you. Seeing the little kids in here with Wizard of Oz reminds me how far back the two of you go. Yes, quite far back. All the way to second grade here at Phoebe Hearst. Actually, not too not too far from the studio. Yeah, who wants to start the story of the kind of friendship you struck up in second grade when what? You're just hanging out on the playground. Danny? Well, we have a really unique story from our elementary school class. We're almost all still in contact with each other, and it's it's been wonderful. We went to school from second grade until eighth grade, but then we stayed friends and would have yearly parties where we would all get back together and reunite. And so now turning the childhood friendship into an adult friendship has just been one of the strongest and most compelling reasons for me to live and celebrate my life in Sacramento. So are there other examples like the two of you of people working in tandem on projects or in business? Well, uh, actually a lot of our friends work on our projects and we help with them. So I mean, when, when Greta came back to film Francis Ha, some of us were in that movie. And Greta Hope Gerwig her. was in your class? Yeah, she was in our second grade class. I didn't class. realize that. Wow, what a class. <laughs> it yeah. really is. It really was. Um, I'm trying to remember the ice cream scene then that was in Sacramento. And there you were at the there table. There was, yeah. And Connor Mikowitz. Absolutely. And somebody else was at the table. Who was I believe Lauren other? Parker. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, a lot of fun. And here we have Tapeagami. And Danny, that was really something that you started when you were at UC Santa Cruz. So what was the first project or the the inception? Uh, the inception was not having anything to do for a summer, but knowing <laughs> that I needed to keep making art. So I had lost my studio space and I wanted to make art everywhere I went and not be confined by any barriers. So I went to the hardware store and picked up um, all the materials that could connect to themselves. I call them universals. And then I just challenged myself to see what I could make. We call them everyday materials, but give me a list of some of the specifics. Um, cable ties, binder clips, paper clips, tape. Um, those are really the staples. Trey, were you one of the people that looked at what he was creating and said, dude, that's that's art? Absolutely. I mean, I, you know, like Danny said, we'd kept in touch and I went to the East Coast for school, but when I moved back here, I I saw what Danny was creating, and I'm like, Danny, this is great. Like, I've you know I've been living in New York and never seen anything like this. You should find someone to work with you, um, to really help you take this to the next level. And a year or two passed by, and I went to business school, and then it turned out I was looking for what I was going to do, and we started. Danny suggested, why don't we work together? And so that has then developed into all that has happened in the last year. Your friend Danny over here is acting like a kid at the dinner table. He's making noises under the <laughs> <Is> table. <he? laughs> no, not Danny. <laughs> and it sounds a lot like tearing tape. Yeah. Could, could something be in the works? Always. There's you, always something in the works. You're all pink now, Danny. <laughs> so from Phoebe Hurst uh, on to high school, different high schools, Jesuit mm-hmm. and Christian Brothers. Yes. And then you see Santa Cruz and Yale. Yeah. And then back together mm-hmm. now and fully together on this project? Yeah, or 100%. You each, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we work in tandem all the time. Um, there's a lot of – I like working with Trey because I don't have to oversee what he does. We can have meetings, and then there's a lot of autonomy. And any project that we set up or organization that we participate in, we participate because the people can be autonomous in it. And if you – when the first thing that I did with Trey – that I still do all the time is make sure that he feels like he needs to take creative control over projects and he needs to be the genesis for them. They can't just be, he's not just developing what I do. He's developing what we do. And to legitimize someone in their own creation for their, for their business and for their daily life is what will bring all their energy and all their soul to whatever, to the table every day. So. I expected to read that Trey had a um, accounting or finance background, but your degrees in East Asian studies. Yeah, uh, I basically was taking Mandarin, got the opportunity to uh, volunteer in an orphanage in China after my sophomore year, and I went there, 
having no idea what I was getting into. And it was great. Uh, Everyone wanted to touch my hair, <laughs> but uh, I got to see Chinese culture, and so I ended up changing my major to that. And as a byproduct of that, had a tailoring company using the fabric markets I discovered while I was there. And so that's what I did immediately after uh, graduating. Um, so I have kind of had a creative streak as a, when I approach entrepreneurship, but it wasn't until working with Danny that kind of all our skills really blended together to, to form something compelling. That's Trey Borden. He's talking about his buddy, Danny Scheibel, next to them. They are founders and creators of Tapegami and Exhibit S, which there is a ribbon cutting for on Thursday. So which of you would you like to explain Exhibit S? So Exhibit S is kind of the realization of something that Danny and I thought would be pretty far off. We always thought that, you know, once we fully developed Tapegami, we'd have a, a whole artist collective where we could all work together on projects, um, have something that was very collaborative and creative. Um, and after our Kickstarter, we were looking for a space and we approached them all and said we'd love to create something that really was a, a destination for downtown, something cutting edge that really kind of put the creative process uh, in the public's eye. And so they we're more than happy to partner with us. And so we found Teddy, who's filming us right now, who's our resident videographer. We're working with Marin Conrad, who's a very gifted painter um, based in Sacramento. And then also Matt Brown, who's a projection artist, screen printer and painter. And basically, it's a space where everyone could come to collaborate and to, to really make something different. Big, 7,300 yeah. square feet. Yeah, yeah. It, it's big. Um, it's wonderful to have that much space. It's very open. But one other thing that we're running out of the space is the residency program. We had our first resident come this week. Um, her name's Lady Beaver, and she's from Oakland. But we plan on bringing artists from outside of Sacramento and giving them studio space to do week or to month long projects. And so it's really about it, it's wonderful to have a place where you can bring out people to town. So Exhibit S will open on Thursday, and, and Tapeagami continues. All right, now you've set the roll of tape up on... Uh, you just like to fidget, right? Um, it's got a lot of creative energy. <laughs> yeah. Even when I think I don't work, I work four hours in a day. You you were creating in our green room and left us a wonderful treasure in there. So if anybody rolls into Insight, they'll be able to enjoy a little... Danny Don't know Danny was there. They can't set it down. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually touchable and playable because I've seen a lot of your artwork mm -hmm. mounted or on display. Mm -hmm. um, I always encourage people to touch the art. I tell them I touch the art when they're not looking. Um, you, how, how can you interact with something if you can't fully experience it? And when I started learning about art, um, that was one of the things that I disliked the most about it and wanted to be different. So making an immersive environment where you can actually pick up the objects you're looking at and understand fully what, like, your, your relationship to it. Like you wouldn't, you know, have a friend that you never hugged or shook hands with mm. that you just looked at. Nice so. way to explain it. We've posted some pictures on the website so people can see how cool and wonderful it is. Great. I know you're excited about this partnership with um, Downtown Plaza, so good luck. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Beth. Come back. Bring we more do. treasures, okay? Right. We will. Thank you. That is Danny and Trey, um, Danny Scheibel and Trey Borden. And we have more information on our website again at capradio.org slash insight. That's insight for today. Monday we move to 9 a.m. I'm Beth Ruyak, and thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm.